Well, folks, welcome to another episode of Dave's Allotment. I hope everybody's safe and well. It's November already. Where does the year go? I know where it's went. We all know where it's went. And it looks like we're going back into lockdown again for a month here in the UK. So we've got something to look forward to there, folks. Well, anyway, I'm going to have a little slurp of this. Oh, by the way, have you seen something different? Check out my new painting. What a skip find. It's it's kind of good now. It's a proper like watercolour. Get in. Anyway, it's nothing to do with gardening. Um, today, it's fine. It's been raining all week, so I'm going to make the most of the fine weather and do some tidying up. I know I always say I do tidying up, but... The ground is, is drying out a bit, so I'm going to start doing some work outside. Make hay while the, the sun shines and all that kind of thing. So I better crack on. I'm going to finish this cup of and all that kind of thing. And I'll see you outside. All right? Once again, folks, thanks for watching and commenting and liking and subscribing and all that kind of thing. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Thank you. Right. Crack on. Ah, but it's a bit windy out here today, so I don't know if you'll be able to hear us. But this pile here has been doing me head in. It's all the stuff that was inside the greenhouse. So I'm going to tidy this bit up today. Because like I say, it's, it's, it's an eyesore. It's doing me head in. And I should be ashamed of myself. Well, that looks a little bit tidier there. And look at this, folks. You can always rely on the rogue potato. Look at the size of them. Well, I never. Up above the streets and the houses, rainbow climbing high. Everyone can see it's climbing up to the sky. Paint the whole world with a rainbow. Do, 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 do. Just while my cup was cooling down there, check out me new picture. Connie, if you can see it properly there with a the glare, but it is North Shields highlight down on the fish key. It's a nice painting, and I've saved it from the skip. Well, I just managed to get that job done there before the rain started. It's getting dark now as well. I've got another couple of little jobs that I need to do. I need to harvest my cabbage and, if, and my turnip, but I'll be doing that later. I can't really film much outside today because of the weather. It's windy, so you wouldn't be able to hear us. And uh, it's raining now, so I can't film outside. But I can tell you about things. Now, winter for me on the plot is basically tidying up, getting prepared for next spring. Um, the drier the day, the better, because you, you, it's best to sort of use this time of year to get your gardens prepared for next year because it's almost time folks it's almost time now i don't grow very much during the winter because it's not worth it i would have started off some garlic but i, d I couldn't get any from wilkinson's no big deal yeah i've learned over the years that uh, you cannot grow very much during the winter up here in the northeast of england unless you've got a polytunnel in a heated greenhouse and all that but I haven't, well I've got a greenhouse but I haven't got heat. It would be much better if I had a greenhouse in, the, in my back garden but I haven't. So that's why I don't really grow much during the winter. Like I say it's mainly just preparation time. So I'll just, I'll finish this cupper and I'll go and harvest some cabbage. Ah. Well I've still got some sunflowers growing. November. Anyway, I've been, I've chopped this giant cabbage down and uh, as you can see, now this is in relation to one of the questions I had on my last video. Now, it was about composting. Now this is what I do. 
just all of the leaves of the cabbages or whatever just goes straight onto the soil they'll rot down and compost where they are and uh, they'll be champion for next year right there you go folks how about that for a cabbage canny burger i'm quite pleased with that i'm just going to sit down i am pleased with that canny canny cabbage i just stick it down there I've also harvested the turnip. I was, I should have carved this for Halloween because I'm not American and I don't carve pumpkins. I carve turnips, even though it's called a Swede these days. Right, so folks, before I go, questions and answers time. Thank you for everybody that is contributing to these, this little segment. I'm getting quite a few comments, eh, uh, questions. So, I'll crack on with them. Right, there's two people that's asked the same question. And that is Patricia Brown from Rill and Siggy Ho 999 Now, don't, it doesn't say where you're from. Now, your questions are both, when will you pop the question to Paula? You've took us aback here. I don't know what to say. Who knows what tomorrow may bring? Put on the spot or what? Next question is from Lee in Wall's End. Hello Lee, and your question is, this year half our tomatoes did not turn red and stayed green. We didn't do anything different the last year and had to give them away as we are not a fan of chutney. Any ideas as to why this has happened and any ways to prevent from happening again or to get them to turn red? Um. Sometimes it happens, every year is different, mate. But there is a few things, if you strip st strip the leaves off um, from the bottom as they grow, uh, but you've probably already did, already did that. Get them in the greenhouse, they'll, they'll ripen in there after a while. If, if they are green, you can take them off and hang them somewhere. Like I've got a bunch there, they were green when I hung them up, but now they're red. Um, some people also put banana skins down at the bottom of the bottom of the plant. That's apparently supposed to work. Some people use them heat lights and get them under there, ripen them. There's loads of different ways, but like I say, every year is different. Um, and all that kind of thing. I hope that answered your question, Lee. Next question is from Simon Corp Fishing, and Simon says. Simon says, why I Dave? Simon from Essex here. Hope you're keeping safe. My dad Rick has been growing vegetables for years, but is rubbish at runner beans. Could you offer some advice, please? Advice? Um, I usually just, I start them off in the greenhouse using toilet roll tubes or long root trainers, but the toilet roll tubes work fine. Start them off a little bit early. Say, March, something like that, and then once they get to about six inches, plant them out. Once that you've also always got to remember that the soil has got to be the right temperature. It's no good planting something out when it's too cold because they'll, they'll not like it. Um, but since you you do know what you're talking about, if you if you've been growing for years, you should know that. But uh, runner beans, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Start them off a little bit early in the greenhouse to give them a little bit of a chance and then see how it goes from there. That's the best advice I can give. Thank you for the comment uh, question. The next question is from Andrew Jardine. How do you go about getting an, allot an allotment? Well, it depends. If the council run, you just go to the council office uh, the allotments department leisure section or whatever it's called and you put your name down it depends whereabouts you live and you are in Morkland in Asia Morkland way <laughs> I watch bargain hunt I'm drifting here so if your allotment site is council run put your name down on the council list it depending on how long the waiting list is you could be waiting six months you could be waiting 12 years. It's 12 years waiting list for this site here, which is ridiculous. 
but that's a different thing altogether. Um, and if the if it's not a council run allotment site, and if it's like a, an association, self self sufficient association, whatever you call them, committee, um, go and see them. Go to the actual plot. See, like they'll, they'll have an allotment shop. See how you go from there. Uh, good luck in getting an allotment and all that kind of thing. Next question is from <laughs> Heavy. Heavy. Hi Dave, question here. Andy from West Midlands. How busy was your allotment during lockdown? Is it still busy or not at all? Our allotment has been, has a waiting list of 12 people compared to having three empty plots for years at the start of the year. Um, well the lockdown, since the lockdown people have been spending more time at the allotment here like uh, everybody got tidied up and it looks like, like I say we're going to go back into a, a month long lockdown this time so apart from work it looks like I'll be here there hasn't been much of a change of, in the allotment like you know, a waiting list or anything everybody's had their gardens here for quite a while now like I say everybody was here during the lockdown tidying up because that was the only thing I could do I, I uh, Andy the allotments are always busy here lockdown or not hardcore us man Philip Herons Herons hi Dave great video as always I got a question what do you think of comfrey plant? Is it a good liquid feed? Basically, um, yeah. Basically, yes it is. I've made a video about comfrey before. Search through my videos. Uh, you'll find it. It's entitled Comfrey. Are you doing it right? Or something like that. Um, I've always used comfrey. Especially for my tomato plants. And it's good for potato plants as well. I'm not too sure about anything else but... I know for a fact it's good for tomatoes and potatoes. It's really easy to grow and people say, oh, you, you, you've got to get bottom or something, bottom 12. At the, at the end of the day, it hasn't got time to spread, does it? So just get comfrey. It grows wild. Have a look about. You'll find it somewhere. Uh, and it is a really good fertiliser. All you need is a little few root, like it comes in a root, like a rhubarb like a crown all you need is a little bit stick it in and you'll be laughing so I hope that answers your question if it doesn't like I say check out the video I made about comfrey and there was, there's another question here but this question was on me epic rap video oh and by the way that was just a one off thing I'm subscribed to Davey504 I do play bass and that was just a one off challenge thing uh, I can't believe I've lost like 10 subscribers because I put that video on it's not always about gardening I know I said this channel is going to be strictly gardening but like I say that was a one off because I filmed it at the allotment uh, as simple as that but that's not the question anyway I did get a question on that comment feed on the video for the epic rap uh, so I'll add it here. It's from Angie Bu. Oh, Bu! <laughs> Hi, Dave. Angie Bu from G Gainsborough, Lincolnshire. Are you going to Harrogate next year if it's on? Um, I hope so. It doesn't look. Uh, let's see what happens. I don't think they. I don't think they're going to let people have fun anymore in things like Harrogate and all that forget about it from now on that's what I'm thinking anyway but if it is on I hope hopefully it is on and I will be going so I hope that answers your question and that is the last question of today so I'll wrap it up here folks if you've got a question to ask leave it in the comments below and I'll answer it on the next video read thank you for watching commenting liking and subscribing and all that kind of thing stay safe Take care and obey the rules because it's important. Cheers, folks. Like I say, take care. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already subscribed and you've got this far and you've enjoyed the content, why haven't you subscribed? 
please do it's well appreciated thank you very much take care peace